CCTV News, Vancouver Island Report. Good evening, beginning tonight with a reminder that winter isn't finished with us yet. The Comox Valley woke up under a sheet of ice today. Roads so slippery that emergency responders could barely keep up with all the crashes. At one point this morning, there was an accident happening every 20 minutes. Police and paramedics rushing from scene to scene, closing highways and airlifting one person who had suffered serious injuries. As CTV's Gord Kerbis shows us, the icy roads set the scene for the crashes, but police say speed may have been the cause. It began first thing this morning, and it didn't appear that it was ever going to stop. Emergency responders in the Comox Valley found themselves running from crash to crash. Quite a few vehicles off the road. I think we've had five between here and uh, Cumberland Road. It all happened within about 30 minutes. Some were like this vehicle, a lawn maintenance truck that wound up upside down in a ditch, moss control chemicals spilling as a result. And just a few kilometers away, a Jeep that slid off the road when the driver lost control on the icy surface. Yeah, they're saying that uh, you know, the roads caught them sort of off guard, especially on this hill here. Uh, we've seen a few people sliding on this hill right here. So we had MCOGs been out um, pretty early doing the roads, but uh, they don't get every little spot. But the most serious crash occurred when this semi-trailer filled with sawdust flipped onto its side as it came down an off-ramp. The result was a load that spilled across the highway. Minor injuries to the driver of this truck. They've taken him off to the hospital and have checked out, but he had a sore leg and um, that's about it. The half dozen crashes all occurring in less than an hour had RCMP shaking their heads. They also amazed Cumberland's Jay Matthew, who was out for a drive and caught much of the mayhem on her new video camera. I just went out for a drive this morning, took a cup of coffee, and we had no idea the roads were in such bad shape as they were. So we just had our camera running and it was just chaos everywhere. With a camera rolling on her dash, Matthew even captures the exact moment that Jeep we showed you earlier spins off the highway. Seconds later, a large moving van also goes for a spin. We were just thinking, oh my goodness, and uh, you know, why are the roads in such bad shape? I don't know. But the chaos wasn't over yet. A few hours later, the inland highway was shut down for half an hour as crews worked to remove the driver of another vehicle. That person was eventually airlifted to hospital. Around the time the chopper lifted off, crews managed to finally right in that overturned semi. Emergency responders are hoping tomorrow goes a little smoother. Gord Kerbis, CTV News, Nicomox Valley.